you guys are factoring, you guys are going to have problems like this tonight. Um, they are have to factor, you're actually going to have to factor and solve. <clears throat> so if you did solve this, I didn't mark you down on it because I just wanted you to factor it. Nothing else. Just get practice with factoring. However, tonight you will factor and solve. But anyways, if you're having trouble factoring something like this, forget about the 4 and the 2. Write it like this. Actually, there's a whole list. W squared minus 8W minus 9. That's not the same problem, right? But okay, you just need to factor it. So do something that's more comfortable with you, that you're more comfortable with. Just change it. If you mess up converting it, that's fine. But just change it to something you know, and let's see if we can resubstitute it back in. So here, hopefully you guys can say, all right, well, what two numbers multiply to give me negative 9, add to give me negative 8. OK, that's going to be w minus 9 times w plus 1. Would everybody agree that's the factor form for that? Yes. Yes. I haven't done this problem yet, but that's the factor form for that, right? But I could say, well, these are kind of the same thing. I could say, well, w squared equals w to the fourth. Therefore, w is going to equal w squared. Would you guys kind of like agree to that? So therefore, I can just say that this would be my factor form is now going to be um, w squared minus 9 times w squared plus 1. And guys, if anything else, check your work, right? How do you check factor if you did it correctly? <coughs> Multiply it. Does w squared times w squared give you w to the fourth? Yeah. Yes. Does negative 9 times 1 give you negative 9? Yeah. Yes. Does negative 9 times w squared plus w squared times 1 give you negative 8w squared? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just remember, ladies and gentlemen, um, if I don't give you any...